Hi guys, talking mortgages with Kem. Kem are here back again. All right. Um, in part one, we had indicated that we'd have um, two more parts. So this is part two of three, um, and we said that part one, you have to open an account. Part two is going to deal with how you go about getting a pre-approval letter from a financial institution here in Jamaica. Um, pretty much. Some persons call it a pre-qualification. Some people have what is called a pre-approval. The two are different. Um, a pre-approval is an actual assessment that says that you can get up to X amount that you are approved for. A pre-qualification says that we have looked at your information and we're thinking that all things being equal, we may be able to give you X when you come back with all the information, right? My institution, we do what is called a pre-approval letter, meaning we actually assess your application. But how do you get a pre-approval letter? All right, it hinges on some of the documents that we have talked about prior to now in our first video that we're going to assess your income verification, which is your job letter, your last 12 months bank statement, your last 12 months pay slips um, and your tax return for the previous year, especially for overseas um, friends. Now, getting a pre-approval is a simple assessment. We look at your income versus your expenses. Um, how do we know your expenses? Well, you tell it to us, we ask to be honest, and we also look at your credit bureau report in your local jurisdiction. Meaning, if you're in the US, we ask you for your credit bureau report. If you're in the UK, we ask you for the credit bureau report of that country. If you're in Canada, so on, so forth. Now, we also pull a credit bureau report for you here in Jamaica. If you have none, it will come up as absent. If you do have one, we will look through that as well and consult with you as needs, as needs be. Now, what we mean by income versus expenses? It's simple. We're going to take your income, we're going to look at all your expenses, and we're going to see what you have left as your surplus income. And that will show us your ability to afford this new liability. Meaning, for my institution, we have four secured facilities, which are mortgages secured by the property and the house on it and we move towards a 10% debt servicing capability. What that means is after all your expenses like water, um, offering <laughs> um, and this new loan, we ask that you have at the bare minimum 10% as your surplus for any eventuality that may occur in life, right? So if you have $100,000 as your gross salary, we ask that you have $10,000 left as your income surplus after all liabilities. Good. So that means once your credit card, your car loan, and your mortgage is able to fit within that mix, we're good to go. We are going to pre-approve you for the amount that you qualify for. Now, for persons that are overseas, it's the exact same thing. For persons that are local, it's the exact same thing. A pre-approval here takes roughly 24 hours after all documents are received by the institution. Now, because I promised three parts, the next video is actually going to be released much sooner than one week um, and it's going to be 2.5, all right? And that one is going to speak towards a dream team. For this transaction, you don't want to have any and anybody in it. You want to have a solid team that's able to get you where you need to go, which is in your home in the least amount of time. Again, we want to thank you for watching. And we'd like it very much if you could like, 
share and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we seek to provide you with quality information all the time. And remember, if you need any more information, you can always contact me at 876-384-9989 or email me at JenningsK at JNCB.com. Thank you.